Some Kings have already made the name as a live band after touring with groups like Jesus Jones and The Wonder Stuff. And they now hope to reach an even wider audience with the release of their fourth single, Circles, on their own Long Beach label. We're not really, you know, hugely successful yet. But um, we like to portray the, the, the image that we've, uh, you know, we're, we're good at what we do. We like to put on a good show for people, you know. I'm sick of going to see bands who just look at the floor and wear black, you know, that's boring. I went out years ago and it just does nothing for me, you know. You, you have to portray an image of, you know, you, you really believe in yourself and you go for it. And uh, that's what we've nurtured over the last year. The fact that we are a good live band, you know. People don't just come to hear the music, they come to see us, you know. and watch how we perform and hopefully that comes across, mm. which I think it does. You know, when you've got a lunatic like him diving around the stage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, him over there. Yeah, I've got one down there. <laughs> yeah. If you want to come and see the Sand King suit, be prepared to, to have a good time. Get yeah. involved. We like to get involved with the audience and stuff, you Bring know. Bring your earplugs as well. No, uh, there's, there's no need for all that snobbery, you know. I'm sick of it. The whole music business is run on snobbery, you know, towards the independent scene, towards the Manchester scene or whatever, you know. It, it's snobbery and to me. It, it shouldn't exist. It's ludicrous. It's daft. You know, we shouldn't, divide, we shouldn't divide this country up into regions and say, you know, let's go for a band from this region, let's go for a band from that region. You know, if they're good, you know, get excited about them. If they're, um, <clears throat> then just like, you know, forget them, you know, go on to the next thing. We never say we're from Birmingham, you know, we've got no... Because we're from Wolverhampton. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, a lot of people, again, you know, you know we the could stuff aren't from Birmingham, but everybody says they are, you know. It, it's just you come from a certain area, you know. And uh, we, n we never walk around saying we're from Birmingham, you know, and it's great. Because it doesn't matter where we're from, you know. We could be from Ockerill or... <laughs> Somewhere like that, can we? God forbid. Ultimately, you build something up, up, and it gets. If it gets to a certain stage, then the press and media have to follow. You know, and I would much rather do it that way than the press and media build it up and then have to prove why those people have said that. You know, which is ultimately, you know, what what is happening to a lot of groups. Not, I feel quite sorry for them because they're having they're having a lot of pressure put on uh, themselves, and, which they're going to have to back up. And unfortunately, a lot of these groups haven't got them the music to back it up. Whereas I think with us we're building up a, a solid base with genuine people who actually buy the records and uh, it will get to a stage where people have to listen. You know, we never get slagged off because people can understand what we do. You know, we're, we're not saying we are brilliant and you have to come and see us, you know, and stuff like that. We we're know we're brilliant that we, and, you know, that can come you know, if they want. We just we just go out to enjoy ourselves and play, and if people get into it, they get into it. If they don't, then, you know, we'll have to find some other gainful employment. In the past as well, though, you've been documented in the press as being obnoxious in a way, making, or supposedly in the inverted commas, making a career out of being obnoxious. Is that, do you think that is the press, or is that you? And if it is you, do you not think it's a little passe? I'll leave this one to you, Jess. I'm speechless, Rachel. <laughs> I mean, we get on so well, don't we? Yeah. How can you say that? No, um, I don't know. You tell me. I, I, we're just ourselves. I, we don't put on an act for the press. A lot of people do. I mean, basically, speaking for myself, I'm just, you know, I don't, I don't put anything on for, like, um, interviews and things like that and lovely things, you know, like that. I just, you know, we're just ourselves. Why and do you think this thing came 
about something the obnoxious, obnoxious thing? Or is it gen generally like playing live? Well, it's, it's a lot it's to do with playing live. We've turned up to gigs and promoters have put on a gig and the stage has been about as big as my foot. And um, we've gone home, got the beer first, and we've gone home. And we're getting this reputation for being, um, you know, obnoxious and um, We're not obnoxious. Like I mean, you know, a lot of people, I would say we're outspoken, but we're not obnoxious. You know, we're not vile to people. No, I'm and, a nice uh, guy. I, I, think, I think obnoxious is a, the, the wrong word to use, you know. We're, we're very outspoken. We're not afraid to say what we think, mm -hmm. you know. And, and a, a lot of the press people think, call us obnoxious because of the fact that we're not afraid to say what we think, you know. And I wish a few more a people would sort of snobby. say what they think in this country. That's the whole problem about this country and what's going on. But people don't say what they think, you know. Things would turn around quicker if they did. Yeah. 